Hinduism also is very weak. Right? Because uh, if you ask, uh, I just happened to be for a meeting yesterday. And uh, it was a, it was a meeting uh, for the for the construction of the Ram Mandir, and uh, I I I'm just narrating a, narrating a, a real life example. Um, we were around uh, 30 people, and I was the only Christian there. And uh, as soon as we went, we were sitting, and then uh, the first question was, "Can can someone say some uh, shlokas or mantras?" They were just passing the buck, passing the buck. You do, I do. You do, I do. Had it been a Christian uh, Christian gathering, everybody would have said a prayer. The easiest one. So, see, uh, there is uh, first the intrusion from the West and uh, the defeat of the Hindus. And unfortunately, that slave mentality still lingers. Uh, there is no effort uh, by the Hindus to revive it. Uh, the, probably the only one which is uh, even the even the ones who are doing it, there are a lot of conflicts, you know, and uh, they need they, there isn't a unison of thought, unison of effort to revive it. Uh, it's, uh, I would say, divine uh, intervention that it has lasted so far. Uh, but Hindus are very confident. You know, I always laugh at when people say Hinduism has survived thousands of years and it will still survive in this country. Uh, well, well, I don't know if they know that uh, uh, in the next 30 years, Hinduism will be only in Varanasi. Right? Do we know the extent of Hinduism probably a few hundred years back or a thousand years back? Kandahar to Vietnam, Cambodia, right? Kashmir to uh, Sri Lanka, all those places. Today, where is it now? Today, there are no Hindus in this one country, right? Uh, I am telling you, I am blatantly making this statement. In the next 20, 30 years, if this is what continues, Hinduism will become a minority, we already a minority, and uh, probably it will become uh, a religion of antiquity and uh, be only probably practiced only in Varanasi. 